Welcome back to Victory Trucker. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Now, this is going to be one that you guys have been looking forward to when it comes to immersion and what we're doing with the BBT farm on immersion and switching the farm over the GPUs over to syncing them into a solution that will one bring down the sound in the room along with give us a lot more controllability when it comes to heat and transfer of that heat now from a maintenance you guys have seen a couple of different videos from us when we're doing maintenance to the farm and the amount of time that goes into that and the level of detail that goes into that by cleaning the fans replacing fans taking care of the dust that comes into a farm like that. And just overall, when you're moving a lot of CFM across you know, any sort of area, you're gonna collect a lot of particulates and that requires some level of annual cleaning, which is you know, a time consumption, labor intensive piece. So by submerging this equipment in there, we can control the heat a lot better. We don't have to deal with as much dust as there's not a huge amount of CFM moving across. And it's really poison for a long term to maximize the usage of these GPUs where a lot of these were the RX 470, 4 gig, 8 gigs. We have some 580s with 8 gigs. And then some of the newer 2000 and 3000 series NVIDIA cards. Looking forward to some of the mining edition if we can ever get our hands on some. We do have a market pullback. But let's switch gears and take a look at the actual design that we're doing with moving to a 12 card rig setup with the B250 mining expert and then some of the ASRock boards also that support up to 13 GPUs. One of the first pieces that we have to move to is is get this design to where it's very densely compact and will fit inside of the tanks appropriately. And to get that, we have to have flow plates designed to allow the solution to move through the fins and keep these GPUs cold. So part of that blueprinting is to come up with our design and make sure that this is tenable when it comes to the flow plates. You can see how we put these together with these little tower struts and then made sure that's pretty tight and put together. Now, again, this is a real uh, iterative learning and design. We'll probably have a few of these made and then see if this ends up working out for us or have to make pivots and changes to it. But what it came down to is how densely compact can we get these, these GPUs? And with having, you know, close to 2,000 of these type of GPUs at 12 GPUs per rig you can see you know what kind of setup we're looking at from a distancing this is about 16 inches across and with about 2,000 GPUs you're looking at about 166 rigs or so plus obviously we have to build a couple other build outs because we do have other GPUs that have different designs and setup now in part of this build out since GPUs are really hard to get we're actually respecking all of the power to the Delta style 2400 watt 220 PSUs which allows us around 1920 watts per rig when we're trying to keep the power at about 80% maximum of the rated 2400 watt on these Delta power supplies. Now that means most of the farm that's currently running on EVGA Supernova 1200 watt P2s are going to be pulled, cleaned, tested, and then we're gonna put those up probably for sale as we're moving to the server style power supplies moving forward on these immersion setups. Now for those interested to see how this thing's actually performing a 12 card densely packed rig like this, these are RX 470, they have the Samsung memory, they're the Sapphire mining edition, so the folks that are triggered on like gaming GPUs, these are not gaming GPUs. Most of our farm is not gaming GPUs. And these things actually still really perform well. These 8 gig GPUs can still mine if hash, and they're about 31 mega hash each. And you can see this entire rig here running just over 364 to 372 mega hash full system. And it's pulling about 1650 watts for that. 372 mega hash. Now I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek, some close-ups of this rig setup and design. Once we kind of get to the final spec, we'll do a full design overview, a 3D CAD version of this. So you guys can understand the full distances and how we actually got this put together in the way we did. I mean, this technically could be put together in a lot of the same ways with a lot of different GPUs. Again, you'd want to have your GPUs really close to the kind of the same size uh, to line up you know, the tower struts that are holding these apart. But hopefully this one was a good one for you guys. And we can bring more of this detail as we start to get the flow plates in the first 
tank built. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, like, share. If you're interested in this kind of content, we can get into some more detail when it comes to total cost of a build out like this as we get further down the line with the dry coolers in place and some of the plumbing in place. And we could bring some of that transparency to you guys just for your own edification and understanding what something like this entails. We'll catch you guys on the next one.